Okay, here's my uh, top charger um, all done. And I did quite a bit of testing on it yesterday using capacitors. And I pulled the batteries out and um, wanted to see what the circuit would do with capacitors because then you can really tell uh, the efficiency. And this will run anywhere from um, three and a half volts on up. And at three and a half volts, it stops. And the uh, amp draw um, actually at low setting was about five milliamps. I was happy to see that. But what I've got this running on right now is a little solar panel that I made up for one of the other projects. Uh, it's uh, three uh, 3.5 volt cells, and I've got it feeding. Um, a couple of super caps that are 2.3 volt uh, 22 farad uh, super caps in uh, series to give me enough capacity and that's what's sitting on the cap right now uh, the two capacitors combined and I've got the charge part uh, bypassed and I found out on this circuit uh, it was similar to some of my Bedini circuits you can come out of the, the charge part and bypass it you can come right out of this and go right back in to the uh, plus side. Just bypass the battery, come right around in here, and it'll run uh, quite nicely on just the one battery. But this is running on uh, solar and capacitors right here. And uh, like I say, I, I did testing on it yesterday to see what would happen. And it, uh, it doesn't draw much, and it runs quite nicely on capacitors. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the solar panel out of this equation. I'm going to disconnect it here. Okay, there goes the solar panel. Now this is just on the capacitor now. That's just on the capacitor here. And this will start dropping down. And uh, you can see the, the uh, energy consumption on this uh, coming out of the capacitor. And like I say, this is not... Uh, not running on any more energy than what was stored in the capacitor here. And there's the uh, the little top running on energy stored in the capacitor. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug the solar back into it and you'll see the cap go back up. And there goes the energy going back into the system from the solar energy coming off that little solar panel. And my thought on this was, um, um, Hugh suggested, was a perpetual running one of these where you had this in a, a south-facing window or someplace where the sun hit this so many hours per day. And the question was, how much energy, how many joules of energy would you need to store up in either a battery or a capacitor or super cap? of some kind so this would just run all the time and it would be a very interesting um, mathematical calculation to see how many uh, hours of sunlight per day you would need to to use and how big of a panel and how big of a capacitor or a battery to make this run uh, during the spring and summer months and then it would stop in the fall but very interesting uh, mathematical problem. This would be a good one for an engineering class to figure out to calculate the amount of energy to keep the top running day and night using uh, natural resources, which right now I'm just using the solar energy. You see the cap came back on up. I'll disconnect it again and watch the cap go back down again. And like I say, a capacitor is a real good way to see what's going on because uh, Batteries have a tendency to mask the uh, energy being consumed, you know, where the capacitor is pretty straightforward. So anyway, that was what I've been playing with on this uh, lid motor top charger. I did change the transistor to a, a 2N, uh, a TIP3055 as opposed to the little ones, uh, just because it'll handle uh, the higher voltages a little bit better. And it, it seems to work just fine. Yeah, if I turn this uh, speed up, this is the speed controller right here, it'll rev the top up and uh, the uh, blink rate, which is the uh, revolutions per minute, 
will go down and uh, the lights will come on steady. Now the camera is not showing this very well, but in person this is actually revving up here. And uh, another thing that I, I studied earlier on in my projects was at what rate does your eyeball not see a blink? And it's 60, 70 hertz is when you can blink this um, and not per perceive a blink. So that was another thing I played with uh, yesterday was the, the hertz rating on this. Anyway, that was what my latest project was, the solar-powered capacitor version of this uh, lid motor charger and uh, what it would take to make this run uh, non-stop using just solar energy.